Hey, Joe, uh, you want to, we're, you're in Starbucks. I'm in Winter Park, Colorado. We're recording this real life calls just yeah. to show people how we do it. You've got a list there, right? Yeah, I got a lead here, a seller lead. Okay, you shouldn't have even told me, you shouldn't have even told me that. I don't want to know anything about this person, that where they're located. I don't want nothing. I want to demonstrate guts in a real phone call, and hopefully we'll make the connection here. Okay. So I'm either going to look like a genius or a bum here right now. I'm ready to put it out to the folks. You want me to just give you his phone number? Give me the, give me the number, and we'll have to edit that out later. One. Question, am I calling a realtor? It's a homeowner. Okay, that's all I need. Male or female? Male. This is Ray. Uh, hey, Ray, this is Claude Diamond, and um, I'm in Winter Park, Colorado. I got your phone number here in front of me. I, I think it's about real estate, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, is Do you have a, a something for sale, or, or why am I calling you? Uh, well, I, I have a condo I'm trying to sell. That, that's, that's it. That's it. Okay. Is it in, and, it, and it's located? In St. Louis. I'll say, okay, beautiful. Nice part, upscale? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice part. You don't mind if I ask you a few questions about it? I'm looking for something, an investment property in that area. Okay, yeah. No, okay, I, that's how. How did I get your number, by the way? I have no idea. You must have advertised it somewhere? or, or, or... Oh, I, I put in, like, for, uh, you know, a couple of those. You know, where they say they buy, you'll buy your home and that. Okay, I got your number here. A friend just gave it to me, but and it was on, and I don't know what, and I didn't know what it was about. I didn't know anything about it except I think it was a home for sale. So thank you. I'm a little embarrassed. Okay, and I'm sorry. What was your name again? My name is Claude Diamond, and I'm in Winter Park, Colorado. Yeah, and I know right where that's at. <laughs> what's that? I said I know right where that's at. Oh, you go skiing up here? I've been up there. I had a friend who used to live in Tabernash. Oh, oh, look, that's right down the street from me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, gosh. Do you know they have a uh, they have a first class, they have a four-star restaurant in Tabernash now, that little town? Oh, really? It's really funny. It's, yeah, I mean, last time I, well, when I was, he lived up there in the 70s, so. Yeah. Well, the skiing is great here. I'm still looking at tons of snow. Is this your, uh, you mind if I ask you a few questions about this property? See if we can I do know. business? Mm -hmm. um, this, prop, uh, this property, it's, um, uh, what part of St. Louis? It's in, um, well, it's, a, it's in a little municipality called Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks. Uh, but it's in, like, they would call, I would call it the West County area. It's in St. Louis County, actually. It's not the city. It's in St. Louis County. It's um, the western western part of the county, the, the near western part of the county. Can I have an address and I'll Google it? Sure. One, five. Autumn Leaf Drive. Nice name. And zip is one. Six, three. One? Correct. Oh, great. Then I can take a look at it on Google and everything. Is it vacant right now? No, no. We're living in it. Oh, okay. And why, it's a condo, you said, right? It's a condo, correct. Well, it sounds like a, uh, good schools. Yes. Awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah. About how old is it? It's, I want to say it's probably about 30 years old. Okay. A good shape? Yeah, it's in fairly good shape. I mean, it needs, it needs a little TLC. It, it needs some, probably needs some carpeting. The carpeting needs to be updated. It needs to be painted a little bit, you know. But uh, for the most part, it's in pretty good shape. Sounds like a nice, why are you selling it? Sounds like a nice place. Because uh, we bought it. We, we're moving into a, a ranch home. We're moving into a different home. Okay, but not right away. You have, what, five, six months? Oh, no, we've got, uh, we're actually closing on the other home uh, at the end of May. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I had a friend who once did that. He got he got killed on the double mortgage. Right. Yeah, that's that's one of the reasons I wanted to get rid of it. You know. So. Yeah, I've got it kind of worked out to where you know, with cutting a few corners, cutting a few things here and there, I'll be okay for a few months. Okay. While, so. What uh, what uh, what are you asking for it? If you don't mind me asking. Um. Well, I mean, if I could get one forty out of it, I'd be I'd be more than satisfied. Is that is that a is that a good price for this crazy market right now? Yeah, I mean, there's another one that's listed for sale in the in the, pro, in the complex for one seven. Five. Okay. The okay. difference between my my unit, the middle unit, and that's an end unit. So. Okay, let me ask you something. If I wanted to like rent it for a year before I bought it, something like that, um, you wouldn't be comfortable with something like that, would you? 
No, I could, I could possibly, we could possibly do that. Oh, that's great. That's great. I'll tell you what I'll do. Um, I'm going to Google it. I have your number here. Um, I'll send you uh, my contact information. Uh, or you can, mine is, um, yeah, mine is Claude Diamond at Mac.com. Claude Diamond. Yeah, C L A U D E. Okay. Diamond, like a diamond ring at Mac, M A C dot com. And um, let me let me do a little homework here, and we can let's talk let's talk uh, tomorrow. Okay, sounds good. Hey, thank you. You're a real nice guy. Okay, thank you. Bye yeah. bye. See ya. Yeah. How about that, Joe? <laughs> Was that? That's awesome. Did I know anything about this property? No. Let's let's break this down. Criticize me. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? And I'm not thin skinned. I can take it. <laughs> well, you what you did right was. Um, Real friendly with them on the phone, but you got to the point pretty quick. How long were um, we, how long were, and let's show the people on this uh, video. Where's my little, I'm missing my little three-minute timer, which I always have on my desk here. It disappeared. And I usually try to do things within three to five minutes. I even have a little timer um, on my yeah. desk. And um, yeah, get right to it, folks. Talk about the money, the deal. How about the – what else did you um, want to bring up? I'm sorry. Well, you got to the point right away. It doesn't really matter um, when you're doing lease purchasing um, how much equity he has, at least at first when you're first talking to them, how much equity they have or, or uh, what the house is worth, um, how much work it needs. Um, that's stuff that you can – with the lease purchase that you can um, you can work with, but the cool thing is you didn't negotiate it with him and try to beat him down in price. Um, you just asked him questions. I liked what you did with, uh, uh, well, why haven't you sold it yet, or why don't you just go ahead and sell it, or the, what was the question you had? I with, said, gee, uh, it sounds like a nice place. Why are you selling it? And what did he right, right. and and what did he say? He said, "Well, we bought another place." And then I did a redirection. Right. I said, "Well, you probably got what five, six months or something." He says, "No, we're moving in May." Yeah. Do you see how if you ask the questions the right way with redirection and finesse, they will give it to you. You don't have to sound like a sales guy who just came from a real bad seminar in Las Vegas. Okay, you got to work this. You this have is, to go ahead. You asked him another question um, that was really good. Uh, um, what was it you said about a friend that couldn't pay two payments or something like oh, that on yeah. the home? Oh, yeah. That's the great point. Thanks for reminding me. Third-party stories are yeah. so important in your present in, – in when you speak to Buddy. You know, I had a friend – what am I trying – I had a friend who, you know, did the same thing and he couldn't sell the other house and – and, uh, oh, God, the two payments. I can't tell you how much pain it caused him. Why did I say that? What's my what's my str strategy? What's my rationale? Well, I guess it's it's a it's a good way to um, let him know or to, to remind him of the pain that he's going to have um, with making two payments. And why do people make immediate – this is Claude's million-dollar rule. I shouldn't even be sharing this. Why do people make immediate business decisions? To avoid pain or to move to pleasure. Okay, so when I talk to a guy about a friend of mine who had all this stress because he had two mortgages, what's going through his head? Logic or emotion? Emotion. A I lot of relate. A lot of pain, right? Security or insecurity, right? Yeah. What's going to make this guy do business with me possibly in the next 24 hours, if not sooner? Knowing that uh, you understand his – you can relate with him. Yeah. I like that. This Third is, part, I mean, that was, I mean, you know, we couldn't rehearse that one, you know. I didn't want to know any information. The, the other really good question you had was um, the way you used negative phrasing with, um, well, what if we could lease it from you for a year and then buy it? That that probably wouldn't be a good fit for you, would it? What did he say? Yeah, I think that would work. Why do I do it? Why do I go negative? Or the opposite, that the 99% of the sales guys in creative real estate say, hey, would you do a rent to own or at least purchase with me and for one year and everything? Why do I do it so, so contrarian to everybody else? Probably because sellers have subconsciously in their mind that they're going to automatically, because they don't know you, they're going to disagree with anything you say. And so you could even phrase it when you first call them on the phone. It sounds like I got you at a bad time. 
because um, oh no 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 that works but using that it's it's not a mind trick but it kind of is it's like the Jedi Jedi mind trick young Padawan <laughs> but it's really it's about using science it's a using creativity and art form not to um, manipulate but to have some control in the sales process because what I think most people out there um, uh, experiences they're very motivated they love this business they want to get into it and they're totally lost on the art and science of persuasion of how to communicate how to get them thinking on the same track as you how to put a deal together rather than this 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 gerbil in a cage type of thing you know well yeah yeah and let me ask you something why did you say um i don't know how i got your phone number what was your intention of of um you're wanting him to answer the question, but why? You tell me. I'm going to be a Socratic teacher here now on you. I do this with my students. I challenge them. When they ask me a question like that, I challenge them. I want you to think of the answer before I give it to you. Take, take a well, shot I at think it. Your, your whole intent is, throughout the conversation, is to get him to answer the questions the way you want them answered. If um, you, you, you're, trying to tell, you're trying to get him to tell you what you want to hear is, in, is in right? a, I'm taking on a role. I'm a little bit of a cross between a therapist and a thespian here. If you saw an old, if you saw a real old lady, minded you of your grandma at the airport, okay, and she had a real heavy bag, you're a nice young Joe McCall guy kind of guy. What would you do to grandma? What would you do? Help her carry the bag. Hey, Grandma, let me help you. Let me help you with that bag. Looks like it's a little heavy. You're a nice guy, right? Mm -hmm. You'd help her, wouldn't you? Yeah. You saw somebody in the pool having trouble swimming. Would you throw him a life preserver or maybe get that pole and pull him in or something? Yeah. What happens when I call somebody and I act a little, a little needy? Maybe I'm not, but I'm taking on that role. Um... You know, hey, Mr. Pro I'm sorry, I got your number here. I'm a little embarrassed. I, 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 this isn't about real estate, is it? Could you help me? You're trying to get them to feel like they're helping you. Is that what you're saying? I think you're getting close. Yeah. Well, let them do all the work. See, we work too hard, Joe. We, 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 we sound like a circus clown sometimes when we call these people, if you listen. You know, but if I call this guy and I set up the stage... So that he's helping me. Oh yeah, I do have a property for sale. Oh, thank you. I'm so embarrassed. You know, I didn't know who I what I was calling about. He's helping me. He's rescuing me. He's doing all the work. Is that hard to make a phone? You know how hard it is for a lot of people to make a phone call. This thing is like a bloody cactus for some people, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think we're doing the whole seminar on this phone call. But well, that I mean, was, that's that's just phenomenal, Claude. It's yeah, really, one really call, good. one call, call. First one we did, honest, ladies and gentlemen, and 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 we got lucky. I got him on the phone. We didn't get voicemail, and and this is what I do. But this takes a. Uh, let me say the bad side about this. It takes a lot of work. It takes practice. You know, I've got my little. Uh, I've got my, uh, and I think we're going to include this in our package. I, I've got my little mind yep. map here. Right. Yeah. You know, with uh -huh. things. I've got um, my feet. My famous Claude Diamond bar napkin where I got the idea for guts. <laughs> Let me put it together. <laughs> this is where I got the idea for guts and formulated the staircase and everything, which we're going to talk about. And it takes a lot of work. It's not easy. But it, you can, ladies and gentlemen, it does work, as you can see.